We're also planning to extend the franchise for your second referendum to EU nationals mm. and 16-year-olds. You acknowledge that will help the Remain campaign in a second referendum? I'm, I'm, I'm sure that uh, the, uh, the, the, the statisticians amongst you can, can uh, hazard a guess as to who it will help. But yeah. of course, Is that yes or no? Will it help the uh, Remain campaign? Pe pe people will have different views, but in the end, it will be a referendum with the people who have the long-term interest in this country, who have a long-term stake in this country, those who are yeah. the long-term residents. And right. That's but, right and proper. But, 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 but there will be people who think you're loading the scales here in a second referendum. For those Leave supporters that you need to attract, they've got to accept the idea that this is fair, a second referendum. Will it look fair if you extend the franchise to groups of people who most people would assume would back Remain? Well, most... most People would also assume that the, the ones we're talking about are people who are, themselves have the same long-term interest in the future of this country of ours as, as I do, you do, or, or people listening. So in that sense, there's a, an identity of, of, of interest between um, long-term EU residents, uh, certainly those are 16, and, mm. uh, uh, to 16 to 18, um, they have as much to win uh, or lose uh, by, uh, by the uh, wrong uh, kind absolutely. of Absolutely, and I'm not making a judgment on that. I'm just saying how it will look to lead voters.